All right. All right. We'll see you there. Everything up. It's not focused. There we go. And I'll show you what I got in just a second. Let me get chat on my phone. Let everybody get over from Kathy's. We won't stay on long because Patty is on live too. But I'll show you what I did last night. I was up till about 2.30 working on it because I couldn't sleep. And I didn't have to go to school this week. So I was like, I don't care. Hi, Shona. So I have my paints to the side because I know what I want to do on the cover. Um, basically. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Lori. Let everybody get in. Let's see. I'll pick out some colors. I like that yellow. That yellow. Some pink. Some teal. Some green. Getting out some floral type colors. Right. Then the first thing I need to decide is if I want a background color. This is kind of a cream color. There was a little bit of yellow. And I'm thinking about just adding a layer to it of something. Let me show you the inside. All right, so like I said, this is ready to paint. It's got a layer of gesso, and there was some yellow in my brush still, so it's got a little bit of a cream tinge, but it's a cup, it's just gessoed. All right, so this is the front inside. So I have a pocket here, and I have a little flip down here, and I used it as a way to tuck some of my alcohol ink art. So that folds up, folder here with ink project there, and then you open it up. These are pockets. That's a little folder that tucks down. And then back here's another ink project. This is a big pocket and another little Tuck. That's Janet. Hi, Eileen. So that's where I'm at as far as the inside is done. Other than I might add some words. I thought about adding words. I'm thinking like adding... Um, going through my stash and I might find little words to add here and there like I could from sticker nation I don't know what I'm going to use it for um, at this point I'm leaning towards taking it to school and using it on my desk. So I thought I might do some words here and there and go through my stash and use up 
is what I pretty much did. Thank you, Elaine. And like this paper, this paper, this paper came from the same paper pack. This was from a different. These are roller papers and jelly prints. This is paint, napkin, Timmy paper. Uh, this came from a different paper pack. The same, this, all these long pieces came from the same pack. This was jelly print. This was a, di a third. This was an individual scrapbook paper. Jelly print with Timmy paper over it. Scrapbook. So I just went through and I didn't end up going in the direction I thought I was going to go. I found this paper and that led me off into the adding the pink with the teal, which I like that pop. All right. So let me show you my inspiration for the cover. Oh, let me let Tay Tay in so she can bug us. Oh, look at that cute bunny. Isn't that he a cutie? Um, let me go to my saved. It's Megan. You know, the girl that we did some of the painted animals with look at what she's been doing with just acrylics just making marks it's kind of got an abstract floral um of course jody oral so that was kind of my inspiration and thought is i would play around with just mark making and it's kind of ribbons and floral. So let's start with Naples Yellow, one of my favorites. Let me get chat back. Let me keep that on the side to help the camera stay focused. So I think that's what I'm going to use the folders for as um, kind of some of my Instagram inspirations or Pinterest. That I find. Little off cuts of alcohol inks. Um, I thought about making one to store my patterns that I have from previous projects. I'm going to open this up. The biggest problem I had was I made this wide so that it would hold stuff. Because if I take it to school, I'm going to want to put papers in it and tuck. I'm just thinking like all these. I always have random papers on my desk that are just one-offs. And I thought tucking them in here would be a pretty way to leave it on my desk. But this wanted to pull up, so I added the washi with the double stick tape. So I think what I'll do is I'm not going to probably do monthly ones like 
like I'm not going to journal in it because y'all I haven't even I did my other journal I haven't even done it lately I need to get, do work on this one I did January February sitting right there I didn't do anything in February I just didn't have time and that was about color swatching ideas that was my composition notebook for Dee Dee a la Kathy style which I like I just get involved in stuff and I don't finish up that kind of project a lot of times Almost done with the base coat. Yeah, I like using up my papers. Because I don't want to throw them away. I'm not buying more scrapbook paper. I mean. But I like. And I have a big box of file folders just sitting here. In fact, I had to go find it. I had moved it out of the studio. I had done a project. Well, I'll show you the project because some of you have seen it. Some of you haven't. It's right over here. I'll get it. While we're waiting for this to dry, I'll do a flip through. Because I had done a similar kind of project with folders previously. Well, let's let that dry for a minute and I'll show you. And it was. To sit on my desk, and I did have it sit on my desk for a couple of years. So it's um I use clear packing tape to bind them, and there are videos for all of these. So I was doing um collage kind of Gina Aaron style or pack or die kind of. That's what who inspired this is I was watching videos from. So there's a cover and then the folder's empty because on the inside, because I was using it to store on my desk, I was putting different things in different categories. And then there's a double page spread. And then of course it's empty. And then another double page. And then empty again double page I'm using a lot of magazine stuff for this and jelly prints empty that's some scrapbook paper and magazine oh and i wanted to use paint chips in this i just hadn't got any out yet double spread this sticks real bad because it's got um like a skin acrylic skin empty double page and there's this double page and then this double page and then this double page and then this double page And this double page again this one sticks bad because of those skins and then the back cover so and what i did was every time you added a folder you put tape here and then you put tape the outside together and then you would put tape here and then you would bound them together so there's like i mean multiple because I was building it as I went. So there's lots of layers. You could, her sea lemon is where I saw this kind of binding and she did it with duct tape. I just used clear packing tape because I didn't want, I wanted to be able to see on the, in the middle. 
I didn't want a stripe going down that was duct taped down the middle. And I did this ooh, three or four years ago. And it sat in the garage for a couple a year, the last year, till I found it in the garage one day. And I varnished all of it so it it's that soft touch, so it feels like suede when you touch it. Hi, Janet. And then the other project that I had done that was sort of similar to this was I had done one with a magazine where there were castles, and then I did the calendar page. And then there was a castle, and then I did a calendar page. So I had done something sort of similar using a calendar as an art journal. And some of these aren't bound. And that's all on video, too. That's a good jelly print. And those all go in here. I just, they never were bound in the. All right, so we've got our yellow, pretty dry. I think I want my ribbons to be blue and the floral to be pink and green. All right, so I'm going to go with another yellow. I'm going to go with uh, a pale yellow and a deep yellow and see if I can't add a little part in here that's darker. Kind of down the center. I thought about trying to do this in reverse on the jelly plate. And I still may if. I just didn't think. Uh, it would be big enough. I wanted one piece. Okay. All right. I get a different brush. Yeah, I I like using up the scrapbook paper because I don't use it in my art as much anymore. But I don't want to throw it away. I mean, I could give it away. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go with the blues. And some of these are metallic. This is pearl electric. These are the Artezas. And this is pearl turquoise. And this is glacial blue, which is what I use in the inside. I use these two right here on the inside. And I think I'm going to get one darker blue. This is a uh, pearl sapphire. Yeah, it's a little darker.
Okay. Thinking like a figure eight. And again, this was inspired by the girl that did the acrylic animal book that we've been watching. Fill in some of that blue. Right now, I'm going to add a turquoise layer. Other blue. dark back there and if I don't like this I can just go over it so like I'm not gonna worry I mean because push comes to shove I can glue paper on top of it Okay, let's clean that up. Hi, Christine. Right, I think I need to 
dry some of that real quick. So far, I'm not feeling it, but All right, so I think I'm going to use some of DecoArt's opaque white to block in some areas for the floral. And I think I'm going to use this brush. This brush got bent, but I actually like it bent. I don't know. It makes... I like to dab with it. And I'm keeping my paint kind of thick on purpose. Trying to think where would I want the cluster of flowers to come out. I'll come back in with color in just a minute. Bye, Kathy. I'm almost done. For those of you who want to go to Patty's, feel free. That's what's going to show what I had done last night. And Patty's on uh, jelly printing. Thanks, Eileen. I think it'll make more sense when there's color. Thank you. 
And I'll put some greenery in there to connect some of those. Okay, I'm just about. All right, I think that's good enough for the Y. Uh, it sort it is um from here. Let me show you, Kathy. It was something I saw on Instagram that I really liked and I thought I'd try. Can you see? It's kind of just an abstract ribbon floral. She's been, it's Megan Wally art. So it's not exactly like hers. Hers is more colors, a little looser. Let me dry this real quick. And then we'll add color and then I think it'll be done. That's pretty dry. I'm going to start with some gr the greenery first. No, nobody in this group shops. Never. Just put some green stems in here and there. It looks like leaves. Florals, not my thing. Uh, 
Okay, and I'm just making this up. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's a little thicker than, um, but I'm not using it the way I normally would use it. But yeah, I like it. I mean, this is not how I normally paint by any means. I tend to be more tight. All right, so I'm going to use pinks and burgundies, kind of rose, just different shades of pink. Hi, Dottie. Get, no, stop. Pokes. Uh, my metallics came really fast. Well, you know, I have these, Eileen, but I haven't had time to play with them. I think they're like the flash. I want to play with them on the jelly plate. All right, I'm going to a dark purple that's violet. If I have anything else I want to use. There's a medium kind of. There's a pearl. I like, I think I want to go with the darker colors. And then. Add the lighter on top. I'm getting some of that light and dark just from the, the paint that's kind of wet. Oh, I like, I I think, I don't know. I, have, I mean, they were the right price. Let's jelly print with them maybe Tuesday or Thursday afternoon after the girls are on. You know, if there's a free time during the week, I'll, I'll pop on when there's nobody on and we'll jelly print with them. All right. Uh, to me, they are like hyacinths. I'm going to let those purples dry, and I'm going to go in with the pink. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. And I'm putting the paint on really thick. I'm not sure I like what I'm doing, to be honest. I don't know if it goes with my inside of my cover like I want it. I don't know. Thank you. Yeah, let me rinse that out. All right, let me dry this real quick. You know, in your head, when you're not going where you think you were going to go, that's kind of where I'm at with it. I don't know. I don't like it, y'all. But I am not a flower girl. I think I did it too literal. So I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't cover it up. Thank you. 
I don't know. I don't like it. I like the paints. It's, it's the painter. It's... Come back with some dark in some areas. Maybe that'll I don't know. I don't like it. Hi, Galena. Yeah, I think the thing might be to let it dry and like come back to it. I mean, I might need to come back to it with some white or some different pink colors. I don't know. It's not what was in my head. And I'm, I know I'm over critical of myself on flowers because I tend to be more realistic in that sense when I paint. Yeah, it's not my style at all. I was tr trying something new and different. I've been trying to try other things that I see and I think, okay, maybe that'll, I think I'm too tight. I don't think it matches the inside. So what I might do is we might jelly print and put something over it. So I'm going to let it dry and sit and then come back to it and maybe add layers, maybe do some palette work. And really build up the flowers more 3D. Like let this dry and cure. Maybe if that was, you know, that might be a possibility. Because I'm building up some layers of paint here that are giving me petal like when they dry, they're giving me some texture. There is shimmer on it. Um, I don't think these this paint will take pencils well because it's very um, plasticky. So I would not say this is paint that I would use to color pencil over because just of the texture of it, it's very acrylic. Usually I use craft paint when I do that and get a more flat. And I might like it better to, you know, like, 
See, I already like it a little better just looking at it that way. Drop, yeah. Cover this up and put alcohol ink on it. That's what I should do. I think I'm going to let it dry and cure. And then I think I'm going to come back with the palette knife and add and really raise up the flowers with some different layers. So that they really come up off. Yeah, darken them all and then add some. These got muddy, so I may just make them go purple. And I might get some different, like a bluish purples. Because the pink didn't go, oh, I didn't go where I should have. So, like I said, I think I'll let it dry really good and then come back and just sort of build up. Because I don't dislike it as much when I'm looking at half of it. When I'm looking at just this half on the front, then I kind of like it. Because it's more asymmetrical. So I can come in and use the palette knife and really let that build up and then come back in with a palette knife and do the lighter color after it's dry. But let the layers dry, kind of. Yes, you could. You could. But I don't draw flowers or do flowers, so it's not my not my thing. Yes, you could. It gives you grit. You could. And I could do that like if I wanted to. But I also could just go in with a smaller brush and add more detail to the ribbons and stuff if I want it. So, like I said, I'm going to let it dry. I think. I'm real pleased with the inside. And I struggled at times with the inside. So, why would the cover not be struggle? And if I don't like it, bam, I can cover it with paper. Because... I could paint that whole thing and just do something different. It's only a folder and it's only paint. I was just trying to play with an idea. Um, and I went with the floral idea because I had it kind of vintage and floral in here to some degree. Yeah, I think I just need to let it sit and walk away. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. If Patty's still on, y'all want to hop on over there or get something to eat before Z is on. Take a nap. So I was... Like I said, I was real pleased, and there were times where I struggled with what to put where as I was building it. Because I had to think about, okay, if I'm going to put this here, and I used punches, I liked that. But then those punches, I had to think about what was going to show underneath when I was lining the insides. And I didn't know where I was putting anything as I was building it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and I will see y'all later, probably at Z's.